Ready. Um, this is actually doing a mosaic that'll look about like this at the end. There's variations to uh, what you adjust it to, what your preference is, whether or not you want to bring out the background images or not. So if you want it more like that, I'll explain all that in a bit. Basically what you want to do is you want to start off with a blank background layer, white background. It's just easier to uh, uh, start off with the pictures where you want to place them. And this one, as you can see, the layers are actually all kind of aligned up. You can either overlap them, put them all together, shuffle them out randomly. I, I wanted to stick with the bars and columns for these pictures. Once you have them all laid down, I can't show this on this video because I already have it compressed into a JPEG, but e add a drop shadow to each photo. It kind of gives it a more of a, a depth look to each picture, more of a 3D effect um, for them. And once you have all these laid out in your drop shadow setting, you want to bring in the image you want to create over all of these. Now I, I picked this one of a basketball player from our school and he uh, is mainly white and that's where the pictures are going to sit out more because we're going to use a soft light effect. Create the, this layer, um, create two of these layers and we're going to bring up this one, create it to convert it to black and white, which, ooh boy, there we go. Uh. Um, anyway, this layer right here that's sitting over top of your main picture will be converted to black and white. And then you want to create another layer of the original mosaic and put it on the top. And create it to soft light, which actually will dim in. Instead of having more of an effect like that over the original picture, it will actually bring out that main picture in the subject. So. Uh, if you want to make more of these pictures come out, the main picture to come out, you just reduce the middle layer, the gray image, to zero or between 100. It will give it more of a, a definite effect and you can adjust each of them from there. Now this top layer you want to have at soft light and this middle layer or the original picture in the back will not turn out to come out. 